Boom, peace, intro. What's up, guys? How's it going? Well, I haven't done anything all week, video-wise. Been beat, man. Work, work, work. And, uh, just, whew. Anyway, um, I found a few things, not much, nothing that you guys haven't already seen, but I guess one of my Walmarts put out some E-case, and by the time I got there, somebody went through and got all the good stuff. But, uh, I mean, I did find a few things I didn't have. Once again, grabbed some things I didn't really even <laughs> probably want, but uh, that's going to be a hard habit to break. Um, what do you do? Anyway, I was also going to mention something. I've been watching this guy, the Hotline of Diecast. His name's Walter. A lot of you guys may know who he is, but uh, really nice guy, man. I mean, he's a cool dude. Hunts Hot Wheels, really cool. I think he sells on eBay or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't. He had a question a while back about scalpers. What do you think about scalpers? And you know. My comment was, well, that's just the guy I need to beat to the store. Because like I told you guys before, you know, I don't really know the difference. We can we can say what we want about scalpers. But, I mean, when I go in there and I see, you know, six of these gassers that I love, gassers, and I take all six, even though I'm keeping them or I'm giving them away to you guys, I'm still taking them all. So I don't really know how to feel about any of that. And I can't really blame the guy that throws them on. I got the opportunity to sell a lot of my things I find online for, you know, excess money. I just don't. But there's people that'll buy it. I mean, look at J. Carr Diecast. He sells all them chases, them Johnny Lightning chases you get, whatever they are, 100 bucks. Auto World, 100 bucks. The things are 6 and $7, guys. I mean, he picks, he goes and he picks up these uh, box sets. For $25, sells them for double, 50 bucks. He's a scalper, if you want to call him a scalper. But he sells out every time. So anyway, doesn't matter. But he had a video about, I guess he was a little upset about thinking he did something wrong with shipping or something. Because some guy got upset. And I just wanted to say that I'm lucky. You guys know I sell customs. I Again, guys, I'm getting on your customs. I just have been behind. I'm trying to clean up. But, um... Uh, I try to send them out as fast as I get them done. Like as soon as you pay for it, I try to send them the next day. Sometimes it takes two days. Um, there's been times it may even take the third day before I get it shipped. Um, all you guys have been cool with it. I haven't had anybody that complained. He had somebody that complained because wasn't responding to a text or whatever, which sometimes you just don't get a chance to respond to texts, you know, or whatever. doesn't matter, but Anyway, I guess he refunded the guy's money and all, and he's really questioning, you know, if he did anything wrong and etiquette and all. And from what I hear, I don't see anything wrong. To me, I appreciate how you guys wait for your package. I give away a lot of packages. Sometimes, they, they, sometimes they'll take three or four days to ship. Sometimes I ship them the next day. But you can't complain about something I'm giving to you. But um, when you guys buy something, I try to ship it out as fast as I can, but sometimes I can't. For example, let's say it's a Friday. I just sold three customs. You guys bought them right now. I'll do my best to have those at the post office Saturday morning. But let's say it's a a, a, a Wednesday night and I sold them. Well, I, I got to work Thursday morning. There's no way I'm getting to the post office in time. So I'll go to work. I'll come home. I'll package them things up if I can. If I got everything I need. And then I'll take them to work with me Friday. Then the whole day Friday will go by. And... Uh, And some of you guys may like cats. I don't really like cats, okay? My daughter, my wife's got a cat, and I just, I don't like that thing. I'm not mean to it or nothing, but God, it's just a pain in the butt. It gets right in front of your feet when you're walking. It, it, it it's, ugh. People say, oh, they're smart. No, they're not. They're stupid. A dog's smart. A cat's stupid. Anyway, I got my cat trying, her cat trying to get in here. And, uh, but anyway, um, then I got to work all day with your pay and then drop it off on my way home from work at the post office. So it could take two days just to do that. 
But um, anyway, I I would just do the same thing he did. If if somebody's giving me problems about the you know it or something, I'll just give them back their money, and just keep the package. I'm not gonna go. Odds are, if they're gonna act that way, they're gonna be a problem anyway. They may get the package and complain about it when they get it. Oh, this isn't what you said, or or this is that. It's best just don't even deal with those people. I mean. Just forget about it. Be glad that you knew ahead of time. So what I guess what I'm saying is I don't think Walter did anything wrong. Now, we don't know the whole story, but it doesn't matter. If all it was was about shipping, come on, man. Usually, there's times it takes two or three days. I mean, look at Mattel. This place, I mean, yeah, I've been complaining about them because they suck. I mean, this place is, this is a multi-million dollar company. And they don't tell you half the time that they don't even have the stuff you want to buy. The wheels were back ordered. The cars are back ordered. They don't even tell you that. They make out like you can get on there and buy it. Then they tell you, hey, we'll send that to you in July. Now, that's the kind of stuff should make a guy mad. You know, you buy one of my cars from me, and I say, all right, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you now that I already got your money. I can't ship that out to you for three or four months. Now, that's the kind of stuff that should make somebody mad. But that other stuff, one, two, three days, come on, man. Don't even worry about it, Walter. You probably don't even watch my videos, but that's cool. Other people... I'm speaking to people that watch my videos anyway. Um, I appreciate you not acting that way. And uh, and like I said, anybody that does have a problem with it, you can just let me know and I'll give you back your money because I ain't going to mess with nobody that's going to cry over something like that. Because like I said, I try to get them out. Same thing with my, my, uh, my website, which is getting low on stuff. I need to get on there and do a 50% off sale or something and try to get rid of a big chunk of it. And... Um, but uh, anyway, I get an order, I try to come home, fill it, and get it shipped off the next day. You know, but that's the best I can do. But there's places that take two or three days. If you haven't heard nothing in two or three days, then, you know, you might start getting a little worried. Like, hey, man, what's up with my tracking number or something? You know, no big deal. But um, anyway, that's all I want to say is I don't think he did anything wrong. It's just how some, whoops, some people are going to be that way, you know. And, uh... But anyway, that's the hotline of diecast. If y'all haven't ever heard from him, check him out. Pretty nice guy. Seems to collect a lot of what we collect. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if he buys and resells for big money or not. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. So anyway, now I'll show you what these little bit of cars I got and uh, go from there. And again, thanks to all you guys for not complaining about shipping when it does get out. Um, I did ship some things out that are, that luckily arrived. Our buddy Alex Long and Mike from Nitro Speed, I got emails, well, I, they're tracking, both of them were delayed, processing problems. I had to go down to the post office yesterday, try to figure it out. Of course, they like, we don't know. Same old crap. Well, here, write down all the information on this piece of paper. Who's it coming from? Who's it going to? What's the address? What's the tracking number? Step aside over there while we deal with these people. Well, I got it right here. I just told you. It's this right here. No, you need to write all that down. All right. I go over there. I write it all down. I come back. What do they do? They punch in a number. Yeah, this says processing uh, delayed or whatever it was. I'm like, I just want to slap shit out of them. Excuse me, but that's what I wanted to do. I'm like, are you kidding me? I know that's what it said. What do you think brought me to the post office? What I'm asking you is why does it say this? You know? Oh, well, we don't know. We have no idea. You can file, you can fill out another piece of paper and we can put a, a search on it and see what's going on. I'm like, just forget it. Well, there's this older lady there. She's actually helped me a couple times. She stepped in and she said, sir, it could really be nothing. She said it could be as simple as it missed the truck. It didn't get on the truck that was headed that way, or it could have been sent to the wrong zip code. It, it really doesn't mean anything when it says that just yet, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. And I was like, all right, well, that's fine. I left. Well, today it shows that it was delivered, so hopefully they're, they're safe and nothing's wrong with them. But yeah, those people are just zero help, man, zero help. But anyway, hopefully their packages are okay. So I went out and I, I grabbed me another one of these muscle machines. I know it's old, but, and I know you guys probably know if you've watched me that um, I've had four or five of these. Well, somehow I accidentally gave away mine. I was just giving them away to people and then I knew somebody that wanted to have one so they could open it. So I sent them it. And I didn't realize I pulled that right out of the box of the cars that were mine. Because I separate the ones that are mine and the ones that I have extra so I can give them away. 
Well, I reached into my box and snatched it out and gave it away. And then I was like, oh, no problem. I'll pick up another one at the store. I haven't seen one for months. Seen one yesterday, so I grabbed it. And, uh, oh, that was another thing. About Walter and um, the hotline of diecast. I've been watching him for a while, but I don't always comment. And I was going to say that, too. A lot of times I don't comment on some of the bigger channels. I will occasionally. But I don't, I think he's got, a, you know, a couple thousand subs or something. But unless I'm already kind of bonded with, you know, or talk to you, you know, like kind of like JDC or something, I don't always comment. Because for some reason, it seems like when you do that, you're, 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 you're trying to, to get, it's a mistake. They might mistake that you're trying to get them to sub to you or something. And that's not the case at all. I mean, I go on little channels and and comment and i about about the same but i'm for some reason it seems like people feel like that they're if you if you're a channel you're trying to get them to sub to you or something so a lot of times i don't comment on a lot of people's videos all the time it's it's hard to explain but sometimes you just can't help it you see something that you liked or you wanted to say something about something so you put in a comment you know like, I've seen a lot of the Mustang Hunters videos lately, but I haven't commented in a while. Um, I just, I don't know. And I'm already subscribed to him. He, I'm sure he's subscribed to me, so it ain't a big deal. It's just, it's just a comment thing. I don't know. I don't know what it is about that. But I will tell you something else that I came across I think you guys should pay attention to. It's people that have, you know, eight, 9,000 subs, and then they post a video and and they, you know, it's 17 hours old, but they got 2,000 views and 11 comments. Come on, guys. I know people that have 50 subs and get 11 comments. Well, they sell. You could buy subs, you can buy views and all that real cheap. They, I've actually got emails of people wanting me to do that. And I see no sense in it at all unless you're fake and you just want to make other people think they're missing out on something like oh i better sub to this guy or i better watch this because look 1700 people already have when really they haven't and really that person don't have that many subs either they just they just do that and and youtube doesn't want you doing that anyway it's fake but there's companies that do it and youtube doesn't even catch on to it and so there's people out there that do that so just because you see somebody that may say they have eight, nine thousand, ten thousand subs doesn't mean they really do. And their comments usually reflect that. Because, you know, they can even buy views. I mean, it's pretty cheap too to buy a thousand views. But for what? Why? Other than to make people think they're watching people are watching your videos. But then you go to the comments and nobody's there. And then you might see one of their lives or something. You got eight thousand subs, ten thousand subs, twelve thousand subs. 20 people in their live, 15 people in their live, no more comments. See, those are dead giveaways, guys. So, like I said before, is I don't care. I like the comments and the interactions and the views. And um, so I, it doesn't really matter if there's 900 subs, 1,000. I think I'm at 1,000. I, I think I'm at 1,100. I don't know. I'm at 1,100, I think. That's... And I got a good amount of views and a good amount of comments that sometimes it's hard to keep up with the comments and get back and forth. That's fine. Perfect with me. I don't, I don't understand. I don't see no reason for purchasing extra subs. And I mean, it just makes it even harder to get back to guys. And like I said, I get 7,500 comments a lot. So, and I, and like I said, I don't have 10,000 subs. I mean, I, I'm afraid if I got 5,000 subs or 3,000, I'd have a hard time even commenting back to you guys because it's just too many, too many comments. It's too hard to keep up. So anyway, I was just saying that for some of you other newer guys like me that might see somebody's video and, and think, man, look at that. How does he get so many views in just 12 hours? Well, odds are he didn't. Now, people like the Mustang Hunter, Derek, Honest Diecast, those guys are most likely legit. They're, you know, they're getting those views. They're getting, you know, that stuff because they are legit. It's some other people that you might see that are not really getting the views they're telling you they're getting. And I just didn't want you to be bummed out thinking that, well, I'll never be able to do it if, if, if these guys can't do it. No, that's not true. Just 
just do your own thing but i just wanted to point that out because i i had got those emails too some of you guys probably have too hey pay us and we'll get you this many views and this many subs and this why 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 would i want to do that <laughs> but anyway i just wanted to mention that real quick and also that um about uh uh, why I mean, you may not always see me comment on some people's videos, but I'll know about the video. That's why, because I, I don't know. It's some weird. Sometimes people may think that they, you want them to sub to you or something. And I know some people don't think about it and don't care, but it's the same reason why I never say, hey, click sub, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, give me all. It's the same reason I don't ever say that. You guys are going to do what you want to do. I, I don't need to tell you. So it's all good. And the people that do say that, that's cool too, guys. I'm not putting you down for saying, hey, click, subscribe, thumbs up, whatever. That's all cool, guys. I'm just saying that's why I don't. Because, I mean, you guys are going to do what you want to do. And then I, now back to the cars. Sorry, guys, but I had to spit that out. You know, this is Hewitt's Hot Wheels, man. You know I'm going to say something. At least it wasn't politics. At least it was all about cars. Oh, and I haven't shown a firearm or a knife. Wow. Well, I ain't got time, but here, there's a quick look at my SIG. That's a little 380. She's loaded. She's ready to go. There's not one in the chamber, but we'll take a better look at that someday. That's the one I always carry when I'm playing. I carry when I'm walking around down here in my pajamas, playing old man in the room with the uh, Hot Wheels. That's the one I always carry. I know you guys are getting a chuckle, ain't you? Be my guest. Anyway, found this baby. Look at that. <laughs> I love bone shakers. Look at that. White walls. I'm pretty sure I have that. Almost positive, because that one came out a while back. I think it's right over there. Yep, there it is. Show do. Yeah, it's so weird, all these Hot Wheels, and you just, boom, beam, you know right where it is. I told you that before, too. I'm getting lost, though, because I got 10 boxes, 10 of them, full of cars now, and I don't remember what's in there. These are easy to remember because of the photogenic memory you'll develop of seeing them. And uh, so anyway, but yeah, check that baby out. It comes with a little one. I guess these are new packages. There were some other ones there. I didn't really care for them. Um, here they are on the back. I would have got this, but I don't really care about it. I, I have the bus already. And I, I was like, hey, I don't really see any of those I want. But I did, I did want the bone shaker, so I grabbed that. And uh, then I got... This is the new key. I grabbed this and see, this is probably one that I really didn't need. I don't care so much about that car. I just still have that addiction of, oh, that's, that's a new one, that's a new one. But I, but I was able to resist a lot of them. I was able to resist a lot of them and, and not grab them. Well, I shouldn't say that. I did grab them, but afterwards I went through my stack and I put back a lot that I really don't need to get. I should have put that one back too. And then, I, Whoa. I did find that Mercury Cougar to the Flying Customs, and uh, she is cool. I was I was digging deep trying to find another one because our buddy Gary Slints loves these cars, and I was going to try to send him as many as I could find, but I uh, only found one. But I'm definitely going to keep an eye out for him because I think he will like this one. I mean, it's got the spoiler on the back. I mean, it is pretty cool. And he loves Mercury Cougars. At least, I believe he does. And then, this one I probably didn't have to grab either, but I like ones that have cop, ambulance, fire truck, anything like that. So I grabbed the new Lethal Diesel with the rescue on it in flat black. But I've been pretty much a boy. I got the first one, and I believe the... The second one after that but I I don't know if there was another one or not but I didn't get any more after that I I left them alone I don't need any more I can't use many of the parts out of it the engine is so so I guess you could chop it up and use it in certain spots but not really anything I need um, the pipes could be cut off and used if you needed them but other than that I don't really need this vehicle so I probably didn't have to get it now this i didn't even know was out but i grabbed it because it is cool and i probably would keep this one only because of what it is the way it's made up 
the the LB Super Silhouette Nissan Silvia S15. See how it's got the spoilers around it and all? Other than that, I probably wouldn't have really cared too much about this car. I know a lot of people would. But that's why I grabbed that one. And it was the only one there. And this was like three big bins in one area, four around the corner. So it was seven big bins that I dug through. And this is all I got out of it. And I found the 91 Mazda Miata, Miata MX, MX-5, but it's it's kind of weird. It's got these, it's kind of weird. But it's the Ryu Asada. And, uh, which has the, isn't that the Mad Mike or whatever it is up there? Maybe that's what this decal stuff's supposed to be, but. Because it's got the MM up there, so I don't really know, but. It was the only one of these there as well. So I grabbed it. May not really have needed that either, you know, but I grabbed it. Now this one, uh, Honda S2000, another Ryu Asada. I, I, I think it's Ryu, Ryu, Ryu Asada, but um, I grabbed that one too, because I probably would keep that. But there's a lot of cars I have that I really wouldn't keep. And that was the only one they had of that. And now this, I grabbed this only because I hadn't, I'm not really sure what to think about it, but it's the, the low lux. It's kind of a weird looking truck. And, um, but since it was new, I grabbed it. But after, upon looking at it, after I got it, I don't have much. I would really do with it for a custom at all it's not even appealing to me as a custom so I guess since it's a new for 22 other than that I have no use for that truck then of course I get all the motorcycles most all of them so I got the new scrambler got one of those and uh, then I got the USS Enterprise because it's cool. I actually grabbed a couple of those. I'm sure uh, grandson will want one. If not, my granddaughter probably will. I thought that was pretty cool. And why not? I got the Batwing and uh, the, the Mars Rover. Got that. And then this one, the Glory Chaser, which I bet there was 50, shoot, 50 of these things. Like, nobody must want it. I grabbed like three of them and uh, I, I mean my, nobody must want it because I bet you there was 50 of these suckers there well there was at least 25 I guarantee you that yeah but I grabbed that little thing I thought it looked pretty cool and uh, and then I probably could have got by without this Toyota Sprinter, but I grabbed it too because it was new. But really, I don't think it does much for me. So it's probably one I should have put back as well. Um, I'm gonna have to learn to stop doing that. Okay. And then I grabbed the Nash, which is so weird. I. This is a weird one. I, I didn't notice it on the others. I'm going to have to look at my old one, but the wheels, the way the wheels are up on the sides of it, it's got small wheels that stick out around the side there. I never did notice that on the other Nash cars, but I guess maybe they were all like that. And I just didn't notice it. But yeah, I grabbed the, uh, the new one. And... I really didn't. I never noticed the wheels were like that. They must have all been like that, and I just never did notice it. And so that was it. That was all I grabbed, guys. Um, that was pretty much it. But I have decided that I'm not sending this matchbox back to Mattel. They can just charge me for it if they ever figure it out. 
If they don't figure it out, then I'll keep it for free. But I'm not sending it back. All the all the crap they've put me through, I, I'm just not doing it. And this is the crushed one. And odds are, they would charge me for it anyway. So let's pull her out of here and just see how bad she is really damaged. Because I never did really look to see. Once I saw it was damaged and I heard plastic rolling around, I left it at that. But let's get her out and take a look at her and see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she busted in all right. Oh yeah, that baby's toast. Truck sign. Look at that. Talk about crushed. Wow. Oh boy, I better get the trash can over here. Yeah, talk about crushed. Oh my god. Holy cow. They definitely mangled that baby. Try to get all these sharp pieces out of here before I chop myself up. I don't know if I can get this popped out of there. I'm not exactly sure. Let me get a screwdriver under that baby. There she is. That piece is toast. But there's the truck and the cool little diorama plate. Of course, the hood don't stay up. Have to put a little stick under it. Well, not a bad looking little diorama. And a cool looking little engine. But that was the Matchbox truck, guys. So, I guess really just the case was destroyed. And like I said, they'll probably, eventually, they're going to hit me with $31.95 or whatever it was. But, oh well. Who cares? I consider it gone already anyway. So, I'll put that baby to the side over there. And I'll wait and see. Who knows what I may decide to do with that. I may decide to pass that along to somebody out there. And one of my... Oh, over there. Yeah, I think I'll throw that away. Throw that box away. Throw that away. I'll just keep that. So we'll stick that to the side, and who knows, maybe I'll send it to somebody, because there's a lot of you guys that uh, take your cars loose anyway, and stick them in stuff. And uh, it's a pretty cool looking long bed. Yeah, so there we go. We'll see what happens, guys. But like it's all out now so <laughs> and now now that i waited all this time to hear from him and haven't heard from him now that i cut it open and destroyed everything and threw the rest in the trash i'll hear from him tomorrow <laughs> funny how that works ain't it all right guys well y'all take it easy and again i appreciate all you guys that are laid back and cool and um haven't ever gave me any trouble about shipping which I do try to ship out as fast as I can. And I have been super busy 
I'm trying to get these cars done, but I am very slow the past few weeks. I'm going to try to pick up the pace in this next coming week and get some stuff done for you guys. I know you're waiting. I appreciate you waiting like you have been, but um, I just have more and more stuff happening. Um, <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. I don't want to go into it. I got more stuff I had to take care of, but uh, that's what life is, man. Problems for you to solve. That's what they are. So anyway, oh, I won $48 on a lottery. Ain't that cool? Not near enough. $480,000? I probably would quit. I'd quit my job $480,000. I don't need much, guys. I can make it the rest of my life on that. I don't need much. I don't I, I don't spend my money. I have other other cars. So but forty-eight dollars that just gave me some gas. Which by the way, I used to fill when I first bought my uh Durango, I could fill that baby up for forty-five dollars. I I put sixty in it oh, a week or so ago, barely got past three quarter. It takes $85 to fill that truck up now. Almost double what I paid when I first bought it over a year ago. About 14 months ago. Hmm. Must have been Trump, huh? I'm sure that was Trump's fault. Well, it couldn't be Brandon. Nah, it wasn't Brandon. It was Trump. Anyway, doesn't matter. We all got to pay the same price for gas. Sucks. But it is what it is. Y'all take it easy, and hopefully I get some more stuff done. I'm going to try to find them boulevards tomorrow. My guy at Walmart said he's supposed to get some in on the 8th. I'm off tomorrow. Um, I have to take my wife's car to get an appraisal at the body shop. She ran into the back of some dude's truck. And uh, so after I do that tomorrow, I'll shoot over there and see if he got any of those boulevards in and uh see if i can get me some because i'm missing them but i don't really expect it to happen i mean but who knows man who knows y'all take it easy and i'll talk to y'all later peace outro